and, and pull and pull hard. and pull breathing and breathe and let's go into a single leg full stretch there's more so oh gosh pull and pull it grab the ankle grab your oh, ankle and oh, pull there okay. you go oh, oh. and go and go and let's do two more one and two and rest okay good now we're we gonna, done this is the last part of the series so back up okay. and you're going to extend one leg twisting opposite and keep the core engaged breathe and go now what you really want to do is look all the way back to the back wall all the way back to the back wall good there you go good now you're working uh, yeah I've been working <laughs> there you go and go ahead and rest oh how many of those do you have to do well you would do each in the series probably about eight times eight times okay so you can usually use a low bar people who can't do some of the ground work yoga because mm -hmm. of restrictions may be able to do this absolutely because it takes a lot of compression off of the body mm -hmm. whereas you know your body's on the floor and you're getting a lot of extra tension and pressure and when you're sitting in the swing doing these poses it feels phenomenal. You get immediate back relief, immediate relief in your hips. And then, of course, we have burlesque. Yes, uh, this that's is the a new thing <laughs> that you're doing this yeah, year. Yeah, this pictures and see just how awesome it is. Look at how amazing these ladies are. Yeah. It's so effortless. And I can tell you that once you get up here once, you don't want to get down. Yeah, yeah. It's an amazing yes, workout. Yes. Wow. But the end is the best because you get to lay fully in the swing and take a nap. I didn't get to do that, you guys. <laughs> Would you like to try yes. it? Okay. Full straight. extension. So, so I'll, you want me to just get into it well, and yeah, show you? Well, let's do it. You... I'm going to take my shoes off. Okay. Here we go. Good luck. So. And, <laughs> and do this with you. You're going to play with me? Um, okay. So, What's the difference though? Which one's harder? Forearm? Well, you know what? A lot of my clients feel that the prone ISO, so the forearm, this one right here, they feel that this one is harder. Okay. However, oh. when I'm just, so you want to engage your abs, yep. what I talk about every week, okay. right? And you want to squeeze your glutes. Okay. So for beginners, I have them. So for those of you at home that don't know how to do this yet, don't stress out. Oh. You're experiencing physics. Okay. You can do it. You're gonna I trust you. Okay. Okay. You got it. What do I have to do? Balance. Oh. Okay. Oh, she doesn't even oh, you're wiggle. Awesome. Prone ISO abs. I'm gonna go into a full extension plank. Okay. So now we're what we're at is we're um, we are doing straight arm plank. Okay. So same thing, abs this are engaged. This does feel a little easier because right? you're using your for a while now. Double lunge, hands to your heart, hover your back. Exactly, yeah. Again, People from all over the state, all over the country Exhale, coming down to Scottsdale lunge, for this, round. the Bacara three-day fitness Exhale, and yoga lunge. retreat. We've got folks Inhale, that are getting their zen straight. on this morning. Uh, joining me this morning is yoga and fitness guru Jonah. Good morning to you. Good morning, how are you? I am fantastic. It's a beautiful day for this event. I know. We got some good weather this weekend. Tell me a little bit about what Bakara means, first of all. Bakara is a Sanskrit word in yoga that means change. And I think this is really important to yoga because yoga is, we can expect a lot. But essentially, this is like a yoga vacation. Need to try your yoga for a while. So thank you, Jen, for the assignment. This is my friend Cassie. We are here at Desert Ear Yoga. So she's going to walk me through it so you guys can see how we do this. And then you're going to see all the experts do. And we're going to talk a little bit more about um, aerial yoga. Okay, so the key is to hold this lower. Pulling it tight against the safe ground. Okay. We're in a seatbelt wrap. Okay. So bend your knees and sink your shoulders back. Spread eagle legs wide, wide, wide. Wrap them around your handles. Okay. Now slide your heels closer to your pelvis. We're coming into that starfish. Mm -hmm. Reach your hands up. Grab. This was at a Las Vegas resort, or you know, somewhere you might take a staycation here in the valley. Seemed pretty standard for a place like that, but no, this is somebody's backyard. And uh, as you take a look around, you can't help but be impressed uh, uh, either by this. We've got some folks here that are enjoying this uh, beautiful. Oasis this morning, and I'll tell you, I just talked.
Stranger's Pool. April Warnicky shows us how it works. Does this brutal summer heat have you daydreaming about lounging by a pool, but you have no pool? No pool, no problem. That inversion one more time. Yeah, let's to the I'm outside. A little tucked away here. All right, <laughs> here we go, guys. A big kick up. Yes, perfect. Ta da! <laughs> here Bravo. Impressive Mustang. indeed. <laughs> now I want to watch as you get off. <laughs> it might be a little not. getting I'm there was easier <laughs> than uh, getting down. And it's just nice to get together and um, help adopt kittens to good homes. So, so we're proud what of is it us. like uh, to take a yoga class with kittens? <laughs> it's honestly just a lot of cuddling and not a lot of yoga, <laughs> to be honest with you. But it's fun and it's a great, it's a great cause. It's for a great cause. And why would you encourage somebody to come out and, uh, you know, do something a little different? Right. Um, because it, it's, it supports a great cause. Um, you, you might even fall in love with a kitten and... and oh. <laughs> yeah, mom's over that way. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, that is, boy, that is an amazing contraption there, that suitcase arrangement. Well... Stand-up paddleboarding is your world. Yes. You are all about getting people into the grid. Anyone can give it a try, even those with zero experience. I know that. And we're just hanging out here. So if you need a little break from golf or feeling a little tense from watching your favorite golfer, then stop in the Well and Being Spa for an aerial yoga class. So we're showing you how it's done. Take a look. Yoga. So what are the first steps? Okay, so what we start with is some gentle warm-ups and stretches. Gently you want to put the left foot down and go to like a dancer pose. And then open your legs wide to straddle the hammock. Just go for it. Just lay back, open the legs wide. Then you're going to wrap them around the front of the hammock. Now you can just bring your feet together, bring the soles of the feet together. So if you like, you can interlace your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, and yeah, just let it go. So you, now you're going to feel a nice chest stretch and shoulder stretch with the inversion. So what are the benefits of aerial yoga? So one of the major benefits of inversions in aerial yoga is to use gravity to um, decompress your spine. So does that mean I'm going to be taller now? Uh, well, you will. You will probably gain an inch or two after a couple of inversions. How easy is this for someone to do if they've never tried it before? This is very...